welcome back to Cikgu L channel. Okay, this video is part 2 for chapter 10, Consumer Mathematics, Financial Management from KSSN Mathematics Form 4. Okay, and this video will cover about the how do you evaluate the feasibility of the short term financial plans. Okay, before I go to the how do you evaluate the feasibility of the short term financial plans, okay, review back what you have learned in previous video. Okay, the financial about the financial plans. Financial plans need to be reviewed from time to time. So it is very crucial to manage your financial uh, financial strategy effectively. All right. Okay. Now, how do you evaluate the feasibility of short terms and long term financial? plans for this video i only cover for the short term financial plan okay for the long term financial plan i will continue with the next video part 3 okay All right for further understands about how to evaluate the feasibility of the short term financial plans first you have to know how to construct and present the personal financial plans okay in order to achieve your goals okay in order to achieve the financial plans effectively all right an effective an effective financial plan should set aside 10 percent savings of total income prior to engaging any fixed expenses and variable expenses so in order to have a effective financial plan make sure you have 10 percent saving from total income before you deduct other expenses okay in financial plan you should prioritize the fixed expenses payment compared to variable expenses okay what are the fixed expenses for example the car loan housing loan and insurance premium okay that you have to pay the fixed amount in every month whereas the variable expenses for example the utility bills okay and traveling entertainment and so on that varies every month it will uh, we can control the expenses okay in general okay to evaluate the feasibility of the short-term financial plans the total income you have to deduct with the savings okay you have to have a, a fixed savings and the emergency savings okay and then after you did that with the saving did out the um, the balance of income with the fixed expenses first okay because we have to give the priority to the fixed expenses and then we only did out the variable expenses okay after you have did out all the saving fixed expenses and variable expenses you have to review whether okay the financial plan has surplus or deficits okay so the feasibility is actually we want to look at whether the financial plans is um, uh, reliable or relevant or i uh, whether we can achieve our goals all right Okay, to further understand, okay, about how to make, uh, how to evaluate the feasibility of the short term financial plan, okay, look at this example, okay, Encik Yusuf works as an insurance agent while his wife is a housewife. They have, they have three children who are still studying. The information given shows his income and expenses for December 2019. Okay, look at this income and expenditure statement. All right, all right. Based on this statement, the income and expenditure statement, we can look at the net income first. Okay, first you have to know how to read this uh, personal financial plans. Okay, it is uh, first you have to list the net income. Okay, for this example. Okay, Encik Yusuf net salary is 5,000 
and then his uh, he do not have any passive income okay for example the dividend from unit trust or shares and so on so make the total income monthly income 5000 okay after that he minus okay the saving for emergency fund okay in this case in Yusuf does not have fixed monthly saving he only have saving for emergency fund okay and after deduct with the savings for emergency fund the total or the balance of income is 4800 okay okay from this income balance he deduct with the monthly fixed expenses which consists of housing loan installment 1000 insurance premium 500 okay the totals of monthly fixed expenses is 1500 okay actually for the first column is to calculate to sum up and the uh, the second column is to get the uh, amount of the total all right okay and then after that he minus the monthly variable expenses that consists of foods and drinks 900, children's education 600, petrol expenses 420, and telephone bills 480, utility bills 500, and travel 400. So make it makes the sum of monthly variable expenses 3,300. Okay, so. Income balance 4,800 minus with the monthly fixed expenses and then minus the monthly variable expenses. Okay, then he do not have any balance from the income. Okay, there is no surplus or deficit from his income. Inter Yusuf wants to buy a speed brand computer which costs RM6000 to improve his insurance sales within a year. Okay, so his goal, okay, uh, his goal is to achieve within a year. So it refers to the short term goals. Okay, can Inter Yusuf achieve his goal? All right. Based on his financial plan, he does not have any savings. So, it's difficult for him to achieve his short-term financial goals. Okay? Because he do not have adequate amount to save. Okay? In other words, he do not have extra money. Okay? To make saving for buying the computer. Alright. So, how can you help Inchek Yusuf to solve his financial problem without using the emergency fund? Emergency fund is uh, actually for, uh, for example, if uh, uh, he have to prepare the car or medical expenses and so on. That one is emergency fund. Okay, so how you can help him in order to buy the computer without using this emergency fund? Alright, look at this question. Does Inchek Yusuf manage his financial effectively? How much saving does Inchek Yusuf need to save in order to achieve his goal? How can an additional income be generated to increase the total income? And the last one, try to create a new financial plan based on the SMART concept. So this one, this question can help you to make a, a new strategy how Intake Yusuf achieve his goal. Alright, to answer this question, does Intake Yusuf manage his financial effectively? You can look at for at the monthly variable expenses. Okay, based on this uh, monthly variable expenses, he does not manage. Uh, he does not manage his financial effectively, because there are expenses that can be reduced, such as 
the spending on telephones okay okay telephone bill 480 this one can be reduced and then the petrol expenses also can be reduced and the travel also can be reduced if he know how to manage his money wisely okay furthermore he does not have any investment plan for his future okay what are the investment plan okay that one you have learned in form 3 for example uh, invest in unit trust or buying a shares make a fixed deposit okay that one how you can suggest to intake yusuf to make a to in order he have a passive income all right okay next question to answer this question how much saving does intake yusuf need to save in order to achieve his goal okay the total cost of the computer is six thousand so he want to achieve within a year so we try to calculate for him what is the minimum monthly saving needed so six thousand you divide by 12 months so every month okay he have to save at least 500 in order to achieve his goal The next question is how can additional income be generated to increase the total income? Okay, Injit Yusuf can increase his income by selling more insurance products and recruiting more new agents. And you can give any other um, realistic, uh, you can give him any other solution or any other alternative in order in Cik Yusuf increase his income okay uh, okay this one is actually hot question so you have to give your reasonable uh, reasonable decision okay all right now create a new financial plan based on smart concept Okay, so based on the smart concept, okay, create a new financial plan. First is specific. His goal is to buy a computer cost RN6000. And then measurable. His goal is measurable because he can save RN500 every month to achieve his goal. Alright, next is attainable okay he can save okay 500 from his income because it only involves 10 percent of his income okay in order to attain this uh, goal okay how he can manage his behavior uh, spending behavior on the variable expenses and then real estate RM500 is realistic to save because it only 10% of the income from uh, his income which total RM5000. And then the last one, T, time bound. So his goal have a time bound which is one year. One year is enough, okay. Actually one year is enough to save RM6000 with saving 500 every month. Okay, so this one is the new financial plan based on smart concept so how can you help in check yusuf so based on this smart concept plan okay you create based on the smart concept plan you create new financial plan for in check yusuf okay so the salary five thousand okay this one you make the changes fixed monthly savings he needs 500 he need to save fixed monthly saving 500 in order to achieve his plan okay and then his income balance will be 4300 okay and then this one cannot be changed because this one is fixed expenses okay all right so you cannot you cannot uh, adjust amend this value okay which total 1000 500 
Okay, in this part for monthly variable expenses, look at the value for petrol expenses. Okay, the original value is uh, 420. So, you suggest to him to reduce his petrol expenses to 300. Okay, other than that, the travel expenses also can be reduced. When the total, uh, when you, when he know how to change his spending behavior, he can reduce the travel expenses to 200. Okay, this one also telephone bill also can be reduced and utility bill also can be reduced based on the spending behavior. Right. Okay, and then you suggest. You also can suggest to Encik Yusof to make investment in order to have a passive income. Okay, why? Okay, for this example, you give a suggestion to invest in unit trust because unit trust have low risk compared to invest in company, invest share in company. Alright, so, so the total monthly variable expenses is 2800 okay then you evaluate the feasibility of intake use of financial plan this plan should be evaluated from time to time based on several factors okay what other factors example is inflation rates okay inflation rates can lead to and increase in the cost of living and indirectly increase the total expenses so his variable expenses may be affected if there is uh, inflation rates okay what is inflation inflation is a situation of continuing increase in the general price level okay that one uh, you have to know the economic conditions right so in check yourself should take action to increase his income if the inflation rates happen all right and he also can achieve his goal if he invests in unit trust as the additional expenses can be covered by dividend receive okay that one is feasibility uh, study or you evaluate whether how to how to ensure in check yourself achieve his goal to buy the computer all right so that's all for this part if you have any question okay you can personal message or you can leave the comments uh, which part you still don't understand and you still need explanation okay so actually this if uh, feasibility study or evaluate this feasibility is actually needs your uh, higher thinking or the skill all right and you have to understand uh, the concept of the financial plan and financial management. Okay, so see you in next video for part 3 for the feasibility study for uh, long-term financial plan. Okay.